Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back. Um, today I decided to do a little flight. Let me see how I can move this. Here it is. From Lukla, okay, um, airport in Nepal. This is a very challenging aircraft, air, airport to land and also to, to take off from. But basically, uh, we'll be flying from Lukla to Kathmandu, which is the main city, the capital city of um, Nepal. Um, the flight plan here is not really correct. I don't know. Uh, I've noticed it with little nav map. When I export it to MSFS, it adds all kinds of weird waypoints. But I will not be following those waypoints. I'll be following the little nav map anyways. But basically, we've been taking off from uh, Lukla. It's a one-way... It's basically a one-way takeoff. You can only take off from runway 24 and uh, heading straight ahead, then turn left at the mountains and basically uh, proceed with the valleys, climb up a bit, and then head off uh, direct to uh, Kathmandu. And uh, you can ignore this little line here. Basically, we'll be flying up to here. We're going to go through um, this, those little mountains. I think it's a uh, RNAV approach anyways originally. We're going to do anyways a VFR and we're going to do go through over the city a bit and straight into runway, I think it's 22 if I'm not mistaking. Uh, runway 02, sorry. Um, there's also an option we'll see based on the wind. We might do a circle to land and we'll do it in one way 22, but uh, currently that's the uh, plan as of now. All right, so um, I guess we should start. Let's press flight now, and at the same time, we'll load the weather bar. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Probably not, but um, it will help me indicate uh, the weather at Lukla. Let's change a bit the uh, time. Let's do it a little bit later, so we'll enjoy a little bit of the view. And we'll do live weather. I want to show you a little bit around that airport. Okay, so basically this is the airport um, that everyone fly, whoever wants to go to Mount Everest or any uh, trekking around here, he flies to this airport. You can see it's, I think it's about 20 degrees slope. No, maybe 15 degrees slope. I'm not, don't catch me on the word, but it basically, it's a slopey runway. So basically when you take off, you're gonna be going downhill. When you land, you're basically going uphill. It's only around 500 meters long. So you pretty much need to um, put your brakes on, full thrust, and then you release it in one go. Um, Airplanes cannot park here, I think, more than 15 minutes because there's a lot of traffic coming in. Maybe now during COVID, it's a bit different, but uh, in general, um, this is how um, it is. Anyways, we're going to put full flaps. And I'll open up my little nav map in the meantime that I'll have it. because I'll be following uh, that one due to the issues with the flight plan in the simulator. All right, so let's uh, put parking brakes, flaps full, and let's go full thrust. And release parking brake. Great, let's take off here because I don't know, I have problems with my rudders. I have problems with my rudders. For some reason they stop reacting after a while, so it's hard for me to 
underground. Okay, so basically we're going to come to that. And we're going to turn left here. some speed before I can start the climb. It's pretty uh, bumpy. Uh, all the wind tunnels between the mountains. Trying to turn left here. which is at 4,060 meters, so that will be somewhere around 12,000 feet. So we need to uh, climb a bit further. Um, once we cross that, uh, I, don't, I think that's the tallest peak we're going to be going through this route. And we're out, about to reach that soon. That's basically that one over here. What we might do, we might go to its left a bit.
because I can see a little bit of an opening there. Beautiful view of Nepal. Oh, by the way, I've not mentioned I'm using the custom match by Abaret for Nepal and Bhutan. So it's supposed to add more accuracy on the match terrain, on the mountains, on the more exact uh, LOD, so you can see all the ridges, exactly how it is. It doesn't change the textures, but it does change the uh, mountain elevation and the shapes of the mountain to be closest as possible to reality. Uh, I have not done a test to see what's the difference between the default MSFS mesh or the Taburet, I think they are called, but basically I'm using their uh, mesh for, for Bhutan and Nepal, so you can get it on the SIM market, I think it's about like $12 or $9. any autopilot um, just because I don't know how to operate autopilot and I never learned so I'm doing it by hand so bear with me if suddenly I like, get drifted because I'm too busy looking at something else so we want to stay below the cloud layer because it's a VFR one, so we don't want to be above the clouds. I do feel that um, the mesh here is a little bit better because I did do a flight uh, to Lukla from uh, uh, Paro. And I think the mountains, and I did not use that mesh at the time. And I think it is more, it's sharper and more detailed than the default one. I don't know, it's just my feeling. Okay, we managed to stabilize around 13,000 feet. I think that will be fine. I'm not expecting any higher mountains than the one we just passed. So we should be okay.
wind is currently now. Um, we are pretty much. We have a tailwind, almost a tailwind. It's a uh, seven zero five at eight knots. So that's why also it's pretty. It, it, even though it brings us faster to the destination, but that also means we're going to have a little more bumpier rides. Time now is seven in the morning. Some later time, of course. you're seeing some lags, that's not because of the simulator, that is because I'm noticing that my stream is not 100% stable. Um, it does go sometimes to the yellow and very briefly to the red, but mostly it's on the green. So that's probably due to that. So far out, I believe we will um, reach. We have around, I think we have to fly around up to here, where my mouse cursor is. And then we're going to have to turn left already to the valley, the Kathmandu Valley. So I would say estimate like 15 minutes, 20 minutes max until we touch down. It's a pretty short flight today. We might fly a bit over the city um, to see, because the city is on our left. Um, so what we might do, we might fly a bit over the city, then we're going to do a landing on the zero two. I'll just, we'll see how pretty the city is, or we'll just land and then we just can take off afterwards, just do a little tour over the city. I'm not sure how accurate the city is in the sim.
starting to lose, lose frames, I don't know why, on my stream. I was trying to stream at 7,000 even though I limited to 3,500. I'm not sure why I was trying to stream higher than that. There's still uh, nine knots, uh, zero nine five, and we are heading two seven four. So we can call it a bit uh, tailwind. Listen, I don't know how to... Oh, here it is. BP... No, that's the highway. I don't see any highway here in the sim, but... Kokahari Naharacha. Something like that, it's called. resting in the valleys. That's pretty windy. Let's go back. So far out. Um, I think. Wow, I really like this one. I think it was. It's really detailed here. The shape of the mountains. Ooh, we got 
and some thunderstorm. Well, I don't think so. It was a nice thunder there. Hopefully it won't affect us too much. Okay, so um, I think let's go to external view. So this is one valley. And Kathmandu, I think we're going to go through these two mountains and Kathmandu is somewhere here. I think we'll see it better when we get closer. Um, so it should be here. So you know what? It might be Kathmandu is actually in this valley. Uh, but based on the map, I think it's not this valley, I think it's the next one. This is a breathtaking picture, I think. You know something? I think this is Kathmandu, this valley, because it seems to be like the one. That means we probably want already to uh, reduce power and start those more gradual descent. This is uh, Kathmandu. I know it's surrounded by mountains. Wind zero nine zero at five knots, so I believe it will be advisable to land in zero two instead of two zero, which is a straight in. This is the city, oh well, outskirts of the city. The city, the more dense part of the city will be on the left side of the airport. We are now at the right side of the airport. But uh, you can see it's, uh, part of it is there. Okay, let's pull props. Bit to the left, need to be able to get a glimpse of the uh, Kathmandu city. 
If not, we'll just maybe take off afterward again and uh, the drone. Let's see. I guess it's not yet auto-generated. When we get closer, probably it will be. Slowly popping up the, uh, the auto generation. Oops, climbing because I'm not paying attention. Let's put some more thrust. We don't want to go do town. Oops, we climbing too fast. looks like well probably is not 100% accurate because still uh, blue shark the, I think it's blue shark that does the AI they based it on uh, photo on the map photos and then they try to depict how the housing will look like and then they basically 3D model it in the sim but it gives you a rough idea how dense it is Let's go back and uh, try to land that bird. Need to find the airport now because I lost it.
ran too fast. Because it took me a while to notice where the airport is. But lucky us, we got a very long runway, so. to arrive safely. Just not sure where to park. Uh, I think this is an exit. So if we go to the entrance, I think it's the next two ones. Let's go here. <laughs> I'm not sure where there are even parking stands here. Uh, never been in this airport. Somewhere here. Or we can just go next to those vehicles, I guess. There's probably a custom scenery, even a freeware for Kathmandu. I don't know why I didn't think about it when I started the, pull of the flight. Uh, let's stop here, I think that'll be good. break on and shut off engine we have arrived at Kathmandu. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short flight um, and I will be uh, also posting this flight on uh, my YouTube channel. So everyone take care and uh, so long.